Hey guys, welcome. My name is Fictitious and I want to make a short little video just to tell you guys how to do a dual PC setup without a Go XLR, um, without Audio Banana, and using only one mic. Uh, I've looked around YouTube and Google and all that stuff for a long time and I wasn't able to find a comp comprehensive video to show you how to do this. Um, all you're going to need is a uh, capture card of your choice or, you know, go with the natural choice of the uh, Elgato HD60. Um, I'm running a HD60S, so all you're going to need is that, and then you're only going to have to download one program uh, for audio. Uh, it's called Audio Splitter. Uh, it's a $30 program, so total all in all uh, price, you're looking at $160 to do this to run a dual PC setup. If you have two PCs, um, you won't have to spend $500 on GoXLR and know all this kind of audio stuff whenever it comes to Audio Banana. This is a very novice type way of running this um, dual PC setup, but it's working for me, and I want to share the wealth with you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, I want to show you the uh, hardware portion. Like I said, I have a uh, Elgato HD60S, and this is just how you set up the hardware, okay? So, like I said, it automatically comes with everything that you need. Um, it'll come with the HDMI cords and the um, USB. So, the only, you're not going to focus on the out part at all. You're going to leave that alone, okay? So, you're going to plug in one side of the HDMI from here to your gaming PC. That is my gaming PC over there, and this is my streaming PC, okay? So, HDMI goes from capture card to the streaming PC, okay? This USB that's on the back that's plugged in goes into your streaming PC, okay? And it has to be plugged into, um, you say it needs to be plugged into a USB 3.0, but I was plugging it into different ports and it works in the other one, but I did just plug it into a 3.0 just to be safe. Um, so yeah, and when it comes to hardware, that's it. That's all you have to do uh, when it comes to setting these things up. Uh. Okay, when you plug in your HD60, it should register the HD60 or your capture card as a uh, third monitor or second monitor. However monitors you have, it should recognize it as its own little monitor. Um, so, see, I have two monitors already on my gaming PC, and then this is my uh, HD60 capture card. Uh, when I plugged it in, it automatically recognized it as a um, as a display, and yours should too. Um, if not, you know you can always detect. Uh, try to identify and detect for another one. Do just do basic troubleshooting. You should be able to find it. Um, the The most important part of this is that you have to extend the display. So all of them have to be working as one display. Uh, I just have it set up like this because I kept losing my mouse when I move it to the right. And you know, that's kind of how I find my mouse is whenever I shake it and I'm like, okay, I see the movement, but it, I moved it up there and I wouldn't have to like lose it. Um, so that's, that's a personal preference of mine. You free to, you do it however you want. You can even put it over here, however you want. It doesn't make a difference. Um, one thing that I have, um, noticed in some people have, you know, kind of said is that when they plug in the HD60, that their, um, that the resolution of their main monitors it like goes down because of this is a you know a 60 um 60 frame per second kind of thing so if that is the case go down to your advanced um or if you're in windows 10 you know find the advanced display and select whichever display you have right so um in my asus i'm running you know it's supposed to be 165 but you know 164.99 same for the second monitor and then the HD60, of course, is 60 hertz, 60 frames per second. Um, and that's how you do that, just to make sure. Uh, all right, guys. So um, I'm going to be working off of my gaming PC first. Uh, when you see this little tree background, that's going to be on my gaming PC. Um, to kind of give you a little idea of which PC I'm working on, I'll go ahead and switch to my, um, to my streaming PC here in a little bit. But I just kind of want to show you all the things that you're going to need uh, in order to get this started. Okay, so um, first thing you're going to need to do is go to Elgato uh, Downloads. Uh, so, of course, go there. Uh, download the... This is where you're going to get all your drivers and stuff like that. So select your product. So what you're going to want to do, of course, is get the driver for your capture card. 
so like I said, I'm running the HD60S. Uh, what I like to do first is find har hardware drivers. Uh, make sure I find the, the driver first. Oh, and it kicked me to the bottom. I don't know why it does that. Uh, get that first, download it, and then uh, go here and then download the... Um, 4K capture utility. It automatically comes 4K. You don't need it, especially if you're running the HD60. You're really not going to use 4K. Um, it's just all in one, so it's got all of the compatibilities right here. Um, so download that. Um, you're really not going to need it. You're just going to need like the drivers and stuff. And then the main thing that you're going to need is this game capture. Um, again, go in here, download the uh, game, the driver for whichever device you're using first and then download the actual app. You're not actually going to use these apps, really. Uh, you just need all of the, like, drivers that it comes with, okay? So once you do that, um, you're going to go into your uh, sound capture. It comes, when you download the game capture, it comes with sound capture as well. Uh, so it's automatically bundled together. Uh, the only one that you're really going to focus on is sound capture. So whenever you, whenever you open it, it's going to look like this. Um, you're not going to worry about anything else but the PC gaming, okay? Now, this is where you're going to um, work with all this stuff. So, I have a Arctis, uh, Arctis 5 headset uh, that I'm working with. All of my gaming, my music, um, all comes through this, through my headset and through the chat. Um, it'll also, of course, it'll be different for whatever headset you use, but whatever... Um, Whatever the setting you use to get audio through your headset, you're going to choose that one. So I choose that one, and your output, of course, is going to be the uh, HD60 uh, S NVIDIA High Definition Audio, okay? And that's it. That's all you're going to do there, okay? So um, close out of that. Um, another thing that you're going to need, of course, uh, actually, uh, let's do a new window. Um, if you haven't downloaded OBS Studios yet, uh, go to OBS Studio. Of course, I'm going to put all the links down low uh, in the description. Uh, go to OBS Studios, download for whichever program you're using. I'm using Windows 11, uh, so of course you're going to go to Windows 11. Oh, see, I don't need to do that uh, since I already have it. Okay, so you're going to download that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all you're going to need for this section. Um, you're also going to be downloading the OBS Studios to your streaming PC, and you're also going to be downloading the um, both of the drivers for um, your capture card. So the, uh, the game capture, you're going to download that in the driver, as well as the, the capture card drivers and you know all that stuff so download both of those on both the streaming pc and the gaming pc it's very very important that you have those out so once you have all those then we can you know move on to the next step hey guys uh, i am on my streaming pc um i've downloaded obs uh, of course and all the other programs so uh that's what's going on here um in order to get the uh the what's being projected or what's being sent to the Elgato. You're going to go to video capture device, uh, name Elgato. Uh, okay. And of course you're not going to be able to see this. Um, and I'm going to do Elgato game capture. Um, and in the settings below, you're not really going to mess with anything. Uh, it'll have all kinds of settings. You just want to make sure you're selecting the right one. Um, and as you can see, of course you couldn't see the settings, but as you can see the um, screen is a little bit wonky. Uh, you can always control F or um, right click on it and go down to transform and hit fit to screen. And then uh, you now see the full screen. So this is the, whenever I was saying it was my third monitor, like my capture card, it was my third monitor. This is what my PC is showing as my third monitor. So if I'm on my streaming, P on my gaming PC, this is, the third one, uh, the one that was up top. Uh, so right there. And uh, we'll go to showing you how to uh, project. All right, so this next part, what you're going to do, now that you have it all set up on your streaming PC, 
Um, you have all those things downloaded. You have OBS downloaded, down, um, open, and all that stuff. Uh, what you're going to do is come to your gaming PC, of course, and open up uh, OBS. When you do, always make sure that when you open up OBS, you're always right-click and run as administrator. When you do this, this makes sure that your um, computer is knows that your that program needs to take up the bulk of the its priority. Um, so you're going to always run it as administrator on both your gaming PC and your streaming PC. Um, some people say it's not really necessary. It's just something I like to do. You're free to, you know, it's not a, a must thing, but it's something that I've found works. Okay. Now, if you're already used to streaming on your, like on a one PC setup, you probably already have all of your scenes set up and all that stuff. Uh, it That is the case that I have um, here. I already have all of my... Uh, my my going live, I have that. My intermissions, my stream ending, and all that. And it's got my camera. I have all these other things, that, I, but I've, I'm using OBS to record right now. So, you know, I've... I've disabled those to kind of not show all that bull crap. Um, so basically what you're going to do from here now, uh, now that you have everything set up on both here and on the streaming PC, uh, you're going to right click and you're going to go to full screen projector preview and you're going to project it to your HDS. Okay. So it'll be set up as your third monitor. Uh, and that's it. Uh, it's now going to your streaming PC. What's on this page will be on my streaming PC, but you're not going to get audio yet. You're not going to get mic. You're not going to get um, game audio, but I will show you that here in a minute. Okay. Uh, all right. So from my gaming PC, I'd already been in OBS and I right clicked on uh, full screen project to the HD 60. Uh, of course, since I've already got it as a um, as a little source here, I've hidden it just to kind of show you guys that I am indeed on my uh, streaming PC. Okay, so once I hit the uh, unhide, it will show what is being projected to my gaming PC. Okay, so there we go. I now have um, my gaming PC up on my um, up on my streaming PC. Okay, it's now being projected, and now if I wanted to run, say, Apex Legends, which, you know, that's on my gaming PC, I am now running that. Um, I will also enable my camera to show that uh, I only have the one camera that's hooked up to my gaming PC, and it is running to my streaming PC. So over here, uh, it is running. Of course, when you start up, you're getting a little bit of a screen tearing but you know it happens you know you get some of that you just have to mess with your settings and stuff like that but again like i said the audio is not being pushed to here right so uh let me cover that real quick all right in this section i'm going to teach you how to get the audio from your gaming pc into your streaming pc because as of right now we have everything set up but you don't have any audio, so your game isn't going to be sent to your streaming PC, and neither is your microphone going to be sent to your streaming PC. Again, this is my one microphone that I have, and it's connected to my gaming PC, and you'll be able to get both uh, game audio and um, your actual microphone to there. So um, this is where you get that that um, program that I, that I was talking about that costs money. Uh, Unfortunately, this is like the only way that I could go around it without having to use Audio Banana. If you're skilled in Audio Banana or you go XLR, you know, feel free to skip this step. But this is for people that don't have those um, that uh, go XLR or have the know-how to really mess with a um, Audio Banana. Because it's really it's really confusing for people who, for novices, you know, who don't know a lot about audio. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go to uh, just Google Audio Repeater, right? And it is um, this program right here. So Audio Repeater Pro. So it's audiorepeater.com. And um, it's just this really simple program, right? So you're going to download it. And it should look like this. Now, 
the fun thing about this is you you can download it for free. You can download this this program for free, but in order to get you to pay for it, there is a built-in um, audio cutting that comes with it. So every couple seconds, audio will just cut out for like a second. So it kind of sucks if you're trying to stream and then part of the game audio just cuts. That's kind of how they how they do it. So um, once you download it, you can actually like go in and you like go to Audio Repeater and purchase the license for it. Uh, whenever you purchase the license, they'll give you like a little key and stuff like that. You go to the about and then you go register and it'll have little areas for you to register. You um, paste that in, close, close the program, restart, reopen it up, and it's perfectly ready to go. Okay. So this is the only thing that you're going to need when it comes to sending that audio to, um, to your streaming PC. Uh, like I said, um, I use, um, I get all of my audio through my headset and Arctic's 5 uh, chat. Uh, so let me see if I can find uh, some uh, royalty free uh, free music. Here we go. Royalty free music. Let me just play it just so I can show the levels and stuff like that. So I'm just going to play this. you be able to hear it. Um, so uh, like I said, uh, I do the Arctis 5, uh, or do whatever whatever it is that your audio comes through to your headset to make sure that your game is coming through. And then audio output, you're going to make sure it's HD 60S NVIDIA high definition. So uh, find that, you know. You're going to leave processing format alone. Leave that alone. Leave that alone unless you know more about it. And you just hit start. And, uh, and now it is sending all audio, all of the music and audio that you hear through your headset to your streaming PC. Now what we need to do still is set up the microphone. So what you're going to do is go to your control panel. And you're going to go to the sound, of course. Now, um... I have these uh, usually set as default, but for some reason it's, um, it didn't, it's not doing it right now. Um, but what, you're mainly going to be focused on the microphone, okay? So you're going to go to recording, to the recording tab, and find your microphone, whichever microphone it is that you're using, uh, right click on it, click properties, and you're going to go to the listen tab. Click on listen and select HD60 NVIDIA High Definition Audio, okay? Listen to this device, of course, make sure that's checked. Hit Apply, and OK. And that's it. You are officially sending your music and your game audio to your streaming PC, and now your HD60S is now listening to your mic, so now that will be pulled into your uh, streaming PC. And that's all you need. That's all you need to set up over here. So. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, um, I am on my streaming PC right now. As you can see, it's uh, protecting all that, all the game and stuff like that. But there's no audio. Um, as I showed you in the previous, like just a second ago, I have audio repeater right here. I have the headset, you know, chat, and it's uh, putting it to the HD60. And I've got some music playing right now. Um, and uh, I just hit start. Levels are going, and now you hear the music. Uh, if I click on the game and load that up, you are now able to hear like the clicks, um, the different things that I do on my uh, on my gaming PC. But of course, you know, uh, can't do the mic. So doing the the settings that you heard that I showed you just a second ago. Uh, this is my gaming PC mic, and you will notice I unmute it, and then now, when I hit it, there is audio coming through the mic. There. So, uh, yeah. And that is... That is it. That's all you have to do. Of course, there's some setting, minor settings that you're gonna have to mess with. Um, I don't have very good internet, so I had to mess with some of the, you know, kilobytes per second from streaming just because of my internet. But, do a couple tests. 
streams on your own. The best way to do this without doing a bunch of streams is, of course, you know, recording through OBS on your streaming PC. Record a game or two of whatever game you play, and then um, watch, rewatch it back, see if you see some screen tearing. If you do, drop the settings, you know, raise the settings, however you want to do, whatever you need to do. But this is essentially how I get through streaming. I can hear all my sound alerts, um, because I have OBS open, so I can hear any time that someone plays like a sound alert, or I get a subscriber, a follower, uh, I hear that through my gaming headset and all that stuff, and they hear it too because it comes through my headset here, and that gets pushed into the game PC, that's how I stream it. Um, let me know if this helped you guys at all, if this was a complete failure. Um, like I said, this is a complete novice type of uh, entry, like or intro on how to do this. This is what worked for me, and after hours and hours of setting up and Googling and all of that, painstaking stuff this is what works for me and I hope that I saved you guys a couple bucks by not having to buy you know an additional microphone uh, go XLR um, not messing with audio banana it's a confusing program like I said if you're good with that you know awesome I'm not and I'll admit that um, but yeah guys uh, I also stream if you guys want to hit me up on a stream sometime please let me know you know stop by we'd love to have you um, Thank you guys for watching this, and I uh, hope to see you guys around the stream, and maybe I'll make another video if this works out, uh, or do any kind of clarifications if needed. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye!